Well, today let's talk about how you can simplify your bathroom in a way that it is super easy to organize and a breeze to keep clean. We'll talk about that coming up next. from The Minimal Mom. If we haven't met before, I am married to Tom and we have four kids ages four through nine. And we just enjoy sharing about our family's minimalist lifestyle, which also means is we found a really simplified way to live. And then we enjoy sharing tips and tricks of how you can achieve that too. And thank you to Hillary from Old World Home. She invited us to share about our bathroom organization with you. And so after you're done watching our video, be sure to check out her video as well. Well, hi there. My name is Hillary, and over on my channel, Old World Home, I'm going to be sharing a tour of our small bathroom that we share as a family of five, as well as a tour of our linen closet, how we keep things really simple and organized to function really well for our family on a day-to-day -day basis. I can't wait to see you over there. If you're new to Hillary's channel, I think you'll really love her old world <laughs> decorating style. They've remodeled two houses. They're on their second house now that they're remodeling and she does everything on a budget, which we love and appreciate too. So be sure to check out her channel. I'll leave a link to her bathroom organization video down below. And so I was really excited when Hillary asked if we could do a video about bathroom organization because Tom and I remodeled ours a couple of years ago and basically we took out all of the storage from it when we remodeled. Our house was built in the 40s and we've been working to remodel it and kind of restore it back to that that time, but you know how old homes are. Sometimes you have to make concessions. So I'm going to let Tom show you what we did. Well, what he did <laughs> to our bathroom. So this is going into our bathroom. Right there was a closet wall into here. Closet wall. This was closet to that wall, right? Right there. The toilet, the back was there. Toilet stool was here. Then where our toilet is, that was a closet into the other room that way. So I eliminated all of that, moved the plumbing from over here under over to there, um, gutted everything, and it's all new. So it's still not a huge bathroom, but it is way more functional than it was. So you would come in like this, and you'd have to sneak around, and then the toilet was right here. Super small. So I think the first step to having a really organized bathroom is to just decide how you want your bathroom to feel. I think for most of us, our bathrooms can be an afterthought, and they just get filled up with stuff that we don't use anymore. It gets shoved to the back and, and forgotten about, really, until we get to this point where we're like, we need to do something about it. And it's always funny to me that we can travel and fit everything we need from the bathroom in one of these, but yet we get back home and every cupboard and drawer in our bathroom is full. So today let's talk about how we can simplify our bathroom in a way that we still have all of the things that we need, but we can easily get rid of the stuff that is just taking up space and that we don't need anymore. So the first step is to pull everything out, out of the cabinets, out of the drawers, anywhere that you are storing anything in your bathroom, pull it all out and set it on the floor and what we're gonna do is organize it by categories so for example for us we have extra stuff for the shower we have pain relievers and our essential oils we have stuff for coughs and colds we have things for skin irritation like poison ivy or aloe vera now as you're pulling things out notice what things you have duplicates of and what things have been in there for months or years and have not been getting used we're gonna throw those things away like for example, we have three things of saline solution and the only thing we use it for is to make slime and sometimes as an antiseptic in like cuts. There's one that's almost empty, so I'm just gonna get rid of it so that we only have two. And I get it, it happens to us too. Tom is like the king of trying like different lotions and different cough medicines when he's sick and just, you know, he'll just try different things until he finds what works and then what happens, it all ends up in here. So if there is anything that you have not used in the last year, give yourself permission to get rid of it. I know we spend money on these things and it's hard to get rid of it, but hanging on to it doesn't put the money back in our pocket. It actually is just a constant reminder of the mistake that we made. So part ways with it, thank it, whatever you need to do and get rid of it. And I always think, do I want to have to handle this again? Do I wanna see it the next time I go to declutter my bathroom or to organize it? How many times do I wanna keep handling this item? 
really no matter how big your bathroom is and how much storage you have we always say aim to have your cabinets and your drawers and your cupboards one half to two thirds full this allows us to be able to move stuff around and to see what's in back and it just feels better it doesn't feel like it's jam-packed full of stuff so when we're getting ready in the morning it's a much more peaceful and enjoyable space to be in the next step is to put it into containers. Now, honestly, I try to organize with containers from the dollar store whenever possible, but in this case, I'm taking something from Marie Kondo's playbook and using these acrylic clear containers so that I can see what's inside because as I was cleaning out our cabinet, we had so many duplicates of things and it's because they get shoved to the back and then we forget that they're there. So when you have clear containers, it's easy to pull stuff out to see what's in back and see what's inside and we'll have less duplicates of things. The other nice thing is that the sides are straight, so everything stands up and they don't fall down inside. I'm also gonna put labels on here so everybody in the house knows what's inside. So even if you're having to throw some stuff away that you spent money on, don't worry because we're gonna save a lot of money moving forward by not having to rebuy stuff that we already have. And then also get rid of anything that's found its way into your bathroom that doesn't actually belong in there. Like there's a beach towel in with our regular towels and it doesn't belong in here. So I'm gonna go put this back where it belongs. And then another common question that we get asked is how many towels do you have? So we have six people in our family, two adults and four kids. So for Tom and I, we each have two towels and then each of the kids have one. And honestly, it's more than enough. We've never had a situation where we've ran out of towels in our house and it all fits very comfortably inside this cabinet. We, we don't have a linen closet, so this is it. And it all fits really easily inside of here. So there's a few things you might notice about our bathroom. The first is that we keep the vanity pretty much totally cleared off besides a hand soap. It just makes it so easy to keep clean and it feels really nice. Sure, throughout the week, this is Tom's bathroom that he uses so his stuff will find its way onto the vanity, but it all has a place to easily put it back away. So if somebody calls and says they're on their way over, I can go tuck his stuff back away, wipe off the vanity, and we have a perfectly clean bathroom for our guests to use. We also don't have a hamper in our bathroom. We actually don't have hampers anywhere in our house, which if you check out my laundry system video, it talks all about that there. But our bathroom is not far from our laundry room. So after everyone showers or takes a bath, they pick up all their stuff and they bring it directly to the laundry room. What's so nice about this is that if I'm cooking dinner and I go to throw a load of laundry in quick, I don't have to run around the house and grab hampers because it's all in the laundry room. So I can know confidently that all the laundry's in there and I can get a load of laundry going really quickly. And then the other thing is that our drawers aren't even full. It's okay if you have empty spaces in your bathroom. You know what the crazy part is? This only took about 15 minutes to get through. Bathrooms don't have to take a long time. So when you're going through your stuff, just be ruthless. If you haven't used it in the last year, get rid of it. It doesn't deserve a spot in your bathroom. We have limited space in here usually anyways. So clear it out and give yourself a little more breathing room in your cabinets. Well, I think that's pretty much it for our bathroom. So thank you again to Hillary for inviting us. If you're new to our channel, we would love it if you would subscribe. We are actually in the process of finishing our kitchen and we're gonna have the reveal coming up soon and we have some other remodeling projects planned. But like I said, we also just enjoy sharing tips and tricks of how you can simplify your house really quickly. So I'll link to a few other most popular videos like meal planning, simplifying your kids' clothes, and toys. We have a whole series on toys and that can actually make a really big difference really quickly in your house if you simplify kids' toys. So I'll link to that down below, but we hope you subscribe so that we can keep in touch. Well, hi. <laughs> <laughs> well, hi, I'm Dawn from The Minimal Mom. And I'm Tom. <laughs> this is the only way we both fit in the bathroom. Yeah. After you watch it. Yeah. <laughs> After you watch Hillary's video, be sure to click over to ours and we'll show you our bathroom transformation that Tom did. Can we go into how I mess it up every day? <laughs> yeah, right? I don't think they want to see what you leave on the floor every day. <laughs> This is the 12th time we've done this. <laughs>